Shout out to Coppish. Shout out to keep Coppish, up, guys. Good work the up. two legends, Emil Heskey, Howard, Howard Gell. Can't get much better than that, guy. Yeah. You know what to do now. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm with legends, guys. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
I think Joe Gomez can be solid enough from a defensive point. He won't give you a lot of attacking because that's not he's a, he's a centre back by trade. But I think if we had a game where I don't know it was a big game and we was missing Trent and Gomez was fully fit, so was Matip and and Canate, whatever. I think you say, do you know what? We've got no Trent. Let's put Gomez there. We're not going to like what we see from an offensive point of view, but defensively, I think he's sound enough. And because he's probably the most agile out of all of our defenders, no need, no, like, and again, he's very, very athletic. You can put him out on the wing and know that he's not really going to get roasted, so to speak, because he's very quick on the turn, Gomez, even if his positional sense might not be the greatest, especially at right back. So on first, first look at it, I will go Gomez. Personally, for me. Fair enough. 1985, Jamrock says, when are we going to start turning over this team? It should have been this summer. But we'll see how it goes, though. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Drift, welcome to the show. Um, just speak about Nico. First and foremost, do you think we should sell him? If we do, how much do you think we could get for him? Probably about... Probably about eight mil, probably, I would say. He is an international, whichever way you look at it, even though he's not vastly experienced. Um, and I think the potential of the player means, yeah, I mean, I heard what you said about um, about the buyback. So when I saw you went live already, I just quickly made a cup of tea because I've got a sore throat. So apologies for being late, but otherwise you lot would have heard me sounding like Sean Dash for the whole show. Um I heard what you said about the buyback. I think that's a good idea on a talent like Nico because you never know if he could end up being great. And it does, it can't hurt. Man United didn't cash in on their the pie buyback, but it made them feel better about selling him at the time, you know? So if something happens, you can just go and get the player back. I still believe Nico can become a top talent, but I agree that he's not going to be able to do that while he's at Liverpool playing second fiddle because he seems like a player who's going to need rhythm and actual games rather than he can just show off every 10 games when he gets the odd chance. So I think he should either be put out on loan or he should be sold. I'd probably say, yeah, about eight mil, maybe with a buyback or something like that. Uh, Bogdan says, only Kimmich is capable of playing the Trent role. Oh, that's dream. a big... Can I bring something up? Actually, go on, Cal. I'm going to bring something yeah. up while you're reading this. Oh. This is something that's just come um, up. We're not we're last five hours or whatever it is. Yeah. Agopa <laughs> says... Um, Joe Gomez, it's actually worse at right back than Nico. We need a true right back. I was going to say that personally. I agree with that. I'll just read out a couple more super chats. All this talk about Klopp getting a nine. Klopp played Lewandowski as a 10 at, at Borussia Dortmund. Klopp even plays Origi on the wing like Salah and Mane. Most likely he will go for wide forwards this window. You'll never walk alone. Oh, I don't I don't think he played Lewandowski as a nine. Sorry, as a 10. I'm almost certainly played him as a as a nine. Maybe Lewandowski dropped off certain times and when he was playing with other personnel, but he, he predominantly played as a nine. Yeah, from what, what I, I from what I remember, he had um he had Royce, Blazanowski, Goetze, all those players around him, but he was Kadua. always the focal point. Yeah. 975 Jamrock, FSG want 10 mil for him, sell him and look at Max Aaron's. And then Magic Mastermind said this Kane City bid today. Mm. Unhappy face and no prem for three years. We'll touch on that if we have time. Um, why? Yeah. Uh, so in regards to the squad drift, the, the current squad, let's say we didn't buy anyone. Who do you agree with Matt that Gomez is the best player to, to fill in? Yeah, I remember I've said that for a while ago. I feel like we don't actually, um, we don't actually have to panic if we keep Nico because I think if there's a game you want to be a bit more defensively sound which would be the only reason you would play anyone else other than Trent. And that's not even a shy on Trent. If you're just thinking, wow, we're playing against the almighty 2010 Barcelona, wow, we've got to really more think about defending than attacking, then Gomez would be a better option at right back than Nico even in that circumstance for me. So I think he makes a good backup, yeah. Uh, I might be going slightly back on what I was saying before. I actually don't want to see Gomez at right back. And the reason I say that, especially this season, and the reason I say that is because, one, I don't think he's a right back that suits our system anymore. Two, I think you look at the injury he's just coming back from. Right back and left back are probably the two most demanding positions on the pitch. It's a lot to ask of Joe Gomez if Trent were to get a suspension or an injury early in the season. Plus, 
defensively from a right back point of view, I don't think Gomez is as good defensively as many people suggest. I think he's a very good centre back, but right back and centre back are two very different positions. And I think he he can get caught out a lot more because he's not used to playing right back and therefore his positional sense is going to be very different. Plus, I just I think it's more, there's more chance of him actually getting injured playing right back again than playing centre back. He's more running, it's more combative with our style of play. I think it's way yeah, too much true. for us giving. Um, yeah, I hate. Apart from, I mean, apart from him, I, I know people have been saying Connor Bradley's impressed. Um, one of the players from the academy. Again, the few times I've watched him, he's just been good. I've not been blown away yeah. by him. Um, and. But this another is... player, sorry to cut you out, another no, no, player, no, no, James Milner. Um, I remember James Milner playing, I yeah, think it no, was a no, couple no, of games. No. He, I mean, he played a couple of games there last season and he actually had really good games there. The problem is he's not going to last two, three, four, five games in a row if we need him. And I think that's the issue. But if I was to pick someone right now, it'd actually be Milner. Right now? I'd have to, yeah. It's unfair, man. No, I, this, I agree. That's this what brother, I, yeah, that's we're, I we're destroying him. Trying to kill him. To yeah. Listen, uh, listen, do you know what someone just said? And they, they actually took words on my mouth, yeah? Do we even consider going to a 3-4-3 three, three if Trent gets injured? Like, so say, for example, like, I'm putting the worst case scenario or as normal players get injured, say Trent's out for a little bit. Do we consider changing formation and maybe that sort of four man in midfield, you could Maybe put, I don't know, someone else there, like a, dare I say it, an Oxley Chamberlain or something. Like, just something just to fill the gap, at least. We're not talking about long term. This is just worst case scenario. We don't buy a right back. We, are, we as you said, like, you don't like Gomez. I don't mean Drift don't really like Milner. So, do we find some middle ground and maybe think, yeah, maybe Klopp should do a 3 4 3 or a 3 5 2? I don't know. Because again, you know we should have to be do talking it. about You know this. what I'd rather do instead of that, bro? Because you know I don't like the three at the back thing. Mm. You lot might think I'm going a bit sideways with this, and maybe I am. But if we're content in midfield at that moment, how about we put Hendo at right back if it was for a couple of games? I think you nah. could do a very I think you nah. could do a very adequate job at right bro, back. Bro, but you're asking the captain who would do the job, as you said, at our top level, but that's asking too much of him because he's at a point in his career where we kind of need to save, not save him, but we don't want to burn him out. And I feel like, see that position there? That position burns you out, you know, because it's up and down the flank, up and down the flank all game. That's why... Yeah, obviously, he, that's... obviously not for a whole season. I mean, if he was to fill in for like two games or something like that. See, me personally, if it was free, let's say it was 3-4-3 three, three, and you said Hendo there, I'd rather Ox there, you know? Oh no, I'm talking about we stick to the four two three one and Hendo's just oh. covering right back. I don't like three at the back. I never ever want to see us play. For, I don't like three at the back. No, I like I like three at the back. I think three at the back is very underrated. You know, I think people just think it means you're defensively rubbish if you go three at the back. But I think if you play it correctly, you can do some impressive. serious damage. I think it's a formation where you get your tactics spot on with that three four three, and everyone knows what they're supposed to be doing, and they're decisive. Yeah. Trust me, you can carve people open, you know. Um, Sheriff says, uh, Barrios, so Lucas Barrios was a striker. Lewandowski played behind him. Czech Klopp's fielded team in 2015, but goes on to correct and say 2012. Uh, I'd have to go back and check. I don't think it would have been for a sustained period, though. Lewandowski can play the 10, probably not as much now, but predominantly he's a nine. And I, But I get what you're saying in terms of strikers, Klopp. Apart from sort of Lewandowski, maybe... I mean, at, at Liverpool, he's not really played with a striker. But I think that's more circumstance and coming across the, the players in Mane and Salah and how well it worked for those years with, with Bobby playing in the false nine. I think he probably knows he needs to make a change now. Yeah. The 1975 Jamrock says, has anyone noticed the form of Laporte since ACL? Yeah, but it's, I think it's... Uh, I have his former dips. I wouldn't say just down to the ACL. I think Man City as a collective sometimes don't defend as well. Um, I mean, I think mm. next season you'll probably see him and Diaz at the heart of defence. I don't think John Stones is the long-term partner for Diaz. I think that's more Laporte. Um, yeah. But that's just my personal. Uh, David no, said, are we really going to throw away a 24-year-old coming off a fifth 
surgery into a position that requires serious running. That's regarding Gomez. Um, going back to what you said, Drew, um, I see the logic in why you say Henderson. He's one of our fittest players. But again, dare I say it, we may have bodies in midfield. But we get an injury to, to Hendo, we, we could be seriously in trouble just yeah, in general. Yeah, I was just spitballing. I don't believe it's what we should do. But I'm yeah. talking about when you said Milner, I thought to myself, being just as versatile, but obviously being younger and fitter oh. at this stage of their careers, I would rather Hendo play there than Milner in that regard. Because yeah. I've Ox seen did? Henderson did play right back. What I wouldn't Ox want did? to see Ox play yeah, right back. Yeah, I wouldn't no, play Ox. No, right. no yeah, brother, yeah, absolutely. He would get injured within five minutes of trying no, to chase that, I'm just trying to think, because I just feel like with Henderson, Denise, but then when I think about his knees, I think about Ox in general. Unfortunately, injuries for him have kind of like, you know, hampered him. Yeah. Then you go to a James Milner, who Milner started picking up a few more injuries, especially last season. A couple more strains here and there. And to ask him to do more running again, put it like this, people. That's a lot. We shouldn't even be in a position where we're having to think about, oh, who we should shoehorn in for that time. But that's what it could be. And that brings me to the last thing I just wanted to bring up, Kyle. That's why I brought yeah, it up. Go. Yeah, yeah, go for it. No, go this for is what it, James Spears said, Jay. Yeah. He said, LFC to demand 10, 10 million for Nico Williams, who is keen to secure first-team regular football after the Euros. No replacement expected to be signed as Gomez can provide cover and Connor Bradley has caught the eye. Klopp planning to keep Simicas on board. I'll leave it there. Um... Uh, Gopa with a super chat. Graven Birch and Marlon are both Raiola clients. Um, just on that, it'll be very interesting to see if we do deal because a lot of people are saying um, about uh, about Marlon coming to Liverpool, and obviously the rebuttal to many people saying we should go for Haaland has been, oh, but Raiola. So I want to see if we do actually deal with Raiola and, and how it goes if it if it does happen. Um, Bogdan says Hendo will gradually become the new Milner. I don't think so. Um, yeah, I think Milner's yeah. way more versatile than Henderson. Even though Henderson's quality, I just think Milner's versatility is pretty it's much different. unmatched, if it I'm going to be honest. I'll, if I'm being honest with you, I kind of think both of their versatility is level par. I, Milner's I proved know. it more, but I think Hendo... Any time I've seen Hendo play in a different position, bro, he's been impeccable. I, don't I mean, I suppose you could say Henderson has played centre back, whereas Milner has played left back. So that's one position they haven't both played. Dare I say it on the wings? Milner has been better over the years on the wing than Henderson ever Young, has. Younger been. Milner, way better on the wings than Henderson. At the age they're both at now, I'd rather Henderson was out there. Mm. Fair dues, fair dues. Um, Dinesh says, Evening, gentlemen. Uh, not happy with FSG. Uh, Genie, another good game and top scorer. We have let a world class midfielder leave on a free. Do you know what? <laughs> the Genie one is going to keep on hurting when he scores. But, bro, let's not forget there were loads of people who were happy that he left. So, yeah, they were. I, was I so wonder if is. they're still happy though. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I was just reading something now. And it, you know, Nigel De Jong. He said, I think Gene Van Adams out there to be one of the most underrated players when it comes to his work ethic, but also quality-wise, always for the goal. In the absence of Virgil van Dijk, he's the next man to step up for Netherlands. Mm, Being the captain that he is, he shows by example, he leads by example. Three goals in the group stages of a big tournament is something you can be proud of. Damn right. And we let this man walk on a free. And we're, and we're keeping guys like, well, so far, I say so far, we're keeping guys like Naby Keita and Alex Oxley chamberlain who big up them, man, because they played Liverpool, but did you want Adam leaving? We said it here, and I'll say it again for the guys. They already know this. Next season, we're going to be sitting there going, this is where we need a genie, you know. But a certain man wanted him out. Very true. Um, first and foremost, we've got to drop the beat for this man. He knows why. Not just for this super chat, but he also knows why. So we're dropping the beat for everyone. For Happy him. birthday, bro. <laughs> Emil, you know why we're dropping the beat, not just for your birthday. Um, but here's a super chat. Um, good evening, guys. Hope you're all well. Um, no statement to make tonight apart from it was my birthday on Saturday. So since God has been good to me for another year, please accept my humble donation. Emil, you're one of the nicest people we know, bro. Um, Trust me. We hope you had a yes. lovely birthday weekend. We hope you have a lovely, lovely rest of the week as always. And just thank you. Thank you for everything, man. It and a blessed year, mate. 
Shout yeah, out to bro. Up, Mill, bro. Enough it's love each and every yeah, time, man. Thank truly you humbling. Everything. Thank you, bro. Thank you Trust so much. Me. Um, just quickly before we move off topic of right backs, if I was to ask you guys bringing a right back to compete with Trent, who would it be and why? Lamptey. I've got two. Cheater. Go on, Matt. The first one, someone's already spoiled it, Max Aarons. <laughs> and the second one, I'm actually going to say the term football fashion because I, I knew it was good. I didn't know it was this good. You know I'm going to say it. Dumb freeze. Dumb freeze. I didn't know it was that good. I'll be honest. I have to be real. No, I didn't really watch PSV like that last season. I didn't. I didn't know he was like that. <laughs> I didn't know how good he was. The guy is serious. And, and again, you can always ball out in a tournament. You can. You can have a tournament and look amazing. But he looks good. But for me, my first choice, though, would be Max Sands because I think Max Sands has been quality from when I saw him at Norwich anyway. And it's mm. kind of like, kind of ironic that they're coming back, I think, this season. And, you know, we like to go to Carrow Road, innit? Yeah. Very we'll true. have to go there still and, and give them some some slappings in that. But we'll see what happens this season. Yeah, we got, is it the first quit. game of the season? <laughs> <He's Jeez! laughs> no, Regina. Max, couple, you don't want to get involved in the slapping we're about to dish out, bro. Just come join us. We should just sign Suarez for one game, innit? Oh, <laughs> yeah, roll up there. Then one's there, you know. Um, promo says, Genie shining against teams like Austria, Ukraine and Macedonia. Let's chill, people. He was poor under us. Why would Klopp tell him not to attack? No, he, uh, he was poor. You know what? Promo promos are, is a big part of our community, so I love man. But I disagree so badly with everything. Yeah, because and right, again, can I, can I just say something about the genie thing? I don't want to spend too long on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't get me wrong. We never saw this attacking style of football from Genie at Liverpool. Only in bursts yeah. when when he has the, had the freedom to do it. When Dare the chips were important, so it's cutting, yeah. but when it was important, exactly. right? Like big, big That's time awesome. plays, yeah? All right, okay. Then. I'll be honest with you. I think if he had stayed this season, I think the genie you're seeing for Holland now, you'd have probably started seeing that more at Liverpool. Because I think we've got Thiago Henderson and um, Fabinho, who can all play that deep line role. If genie was the third man, I think you'd start seeing genie do that in a bit, doing that a bit more. Plus, we have Firmino. So, effectively, because Firmino's not a natural nine, him and Genie were Genie to play that advanced role, would pretty much be getting in each other's way. Which, again, would be more hindrance on the team than anything, unless you drop Bobby, which, again, if you're going to play Genie instead of Bobby and then play someone else, you can live with that. Another thing I would say is, yes, it's glamorous him getting the goals and everything and, and being more attacking for Holland. But let's not act like he wasn't brilliant for us playing a role which allowed us to win the league in the Premier League, which he was vital to in both. So, yes, we didn't see the attackingness from Genie, but we did see a Genie that allowed us to build from the back and allow our, our fullbacks to play the best football of their lives and Mane and Salah to, to play the best football of their lives. So, even though he wasn't the one in the headlines, he was still fully involved in allowing us to be that team that no one could stop. Oh, yeah. So, for us saying he's poor... You can't. I can't agree with that, and I'll never disagree. I'll never agree with that. In terms of you saying, yeah, he should have get should have got more goals. That wasn't his instruction. Yes, there were times he could have played a more adventurous pass here and there. Yes, he could have. But you know what? I could probably name you three games since when Genie was at Liverpool that he had bad games. Three games in how many years? Five years. I can live with that. I can live with that. Mister, there's an there's an argument that over the course of his Liverpool career. He was the most consistent player under Klopp. There's there an is. argument. There like, is. I, I think you'll struggle to find a player yeah. who was actually more consistent than Genie over the course of that five years. Precisely. So, um, facts, Bogdan facts. says, come on, uh, nobody's going to compete with Trent. It's not about competing, though, guys. It's about it's about having the rotation. No, like, do you know, it, actually, it, sorry, whoever, I don't know who said that, just quickly... I think it is about competing with Trent. And this is why I think Drift brought up a good name, uh, Tariq Lamptey, and I said Max Aarons. These are players you'd like to think, just because they're around the same age, why would they not think, I want to compete with Trent? Because I think that's the mentality that you have to have. You can't just have the mentality of, I'm just going to be Liverpool's second-choice right-back. Because Very I think true. what, will what would happen naturally, let's say we got Tariq Lamptey or a Max Aarons, 
it would push Trent to a higher level. And when that person comes in, say Trent got an injury, they might come in and do a madness. You don't know that. They might do a madness so much to the point where where Klopp well, goes, like what like what Trent did with Nathaniel Clyde. This is what I'm saying. There's yeah, so dude. many. I just think. Just because Trent is an amazing right back, that doesn't mean to say that there shouldn't be a player out there who thinks they can't surpass him or rival him. Because I think you don't want a player that's going to just be second choice. Trust me, you won't get the best out of them. You won't. Very true. Liam says, good evening, fellas. God forbid if our summer transfer dealings were just cannot and selling Deadwood, where do you think we'd finish next season? Fourth for me. I don't know about you guys. If we only signed Canate, but we sold... See, that Players would, that would all depend on how realistic the question wants me to be because if we're talking about a season where we can put everyone on green like it's pro and I know there won't be any injuries, I think we could win the league. But if you want to talk about the realistic world we live in where we'll probably get more injuries than everyone else again, with just Canate, another top four struggle and maybe just about getting top four in the last couple of weeks or whatever. If we only sign Canate, I agree. We struggle because I have to be honest, no matter how great the players are that are coming back, to ask them all to be at 100%. So that's Virgil, that's Matic, that's Gomez, dare I say even Henderson. Mm. Um, you're asking a lot. That's asking a lot. For those players to be playing <clears> at <throat> a level where they weren't injured, you're asking a lot. There's going to be some breakdowns along the line. There will be. It's just natural. It's how the body is. But I think we should. I think we struggle. So maybe we, we we get it. We just sneak into top four. I think. Uh, Ninety seven five Jamrock says not happy he left. Klopp doesn't use Holland. It doesn't, but it, we were successful. Yeah, like, Klopp's not all about one play. It's about the team. It's about systems, man. Well, like, I, I, do, I, I do agree that every now and again Klopp should have let him off the leash a little bit more. But I understand say, why he did I, the role he did. You say that, you know, but let's be real. Do you think maybe are we blaming the wrong person here? Are we blaming Klopp because I'm not even blaming anyone, bro. I don't no, think no, it's well, a blame right. too. We're not a blame thing, but all right, let me say this here. Yeah. Are we saying ah oh, Klopp didn't use him the right way? Or is it a thing where Klopp had to use him like that because players like Navigator Oxley Chamberlain either weren't playing, didn't feel that haven't fulfilled their potential so far and have been injured. So Having mm. to use Genie in that role, even Thiago got injured last season. Henderson, mm. so Genie's never been really allowed to be let off the leash, bro. When he gets let mm. off the leash, he helped he us does. secure Champions League football in 2016 2017 at the last game of the season against Middlesbrough. He scored the two goals that got us to beat Barcelona and help us, bro. Genie went out of winning, winning goal he, against winning goal against Man City at Anfield. Yeah, when he when he's allowed to kind of do his thing, he, he, he does, but it's just that we don't see it enough. Yeah, very intelligent. So he wasn't being marked on corners against Cardiff and said, you know what, pick me up. No one's standing on me. Like, no one's here. Pick me up. Boom, go. Yeah. Like, it, fair, it, man. you're right. Klopp never let him off the leash because he didn't have the uh, the kind of ability to, to with all the way the squad is and stuff to. like that. But you know what? I'm not, I wouldn't even call it letting him off the leash or blaming anyone. I'm just saying when you've got a flexibility of a player with that much talent, maybe just use him differently where need be, and I just wish Klopp would have used them a little bit more in the attacking way. That's all. I wouldn't even say it was wrong or right, because there were times when he weren't allowed to due to personnel. But that say that Barcelona gene is an easy example because of how well he played and we won that game. But that example there is kind of like what you see when he plays for Holland. Like, literally, that genie in the Barcelona second half, that's Holland genie. And we could use him like that. I mean, I swear genie opened the scoring against Roma, right? In the semi-final when we... No, he yeah. didn't. Mane, Mane scored the first was goal. He got the second. Oh, I thought, oh Gini got second. I Gini Gini yeah, scored yeah. in that game. Though, yeah, he got right? the second goal, yeah. Scored. So, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Whenever you need Genie to do that, he can do it, innit? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, it, we, it's just upsetting that we've lost a quality player. I don't even care where we played on the pitch. He's one of our best players, and I don't think people understand that, but... Um, Aaron says, Genie, most underrated and underpaid player in the Prem. Facts. Personally, yeah, I agree with that. Um, pro, promo. Um, why is this like Germany? Closer for Germany with Genie only signs during internationals. Again, I, I think the whole shining thing. Maybe look. Maybe everyone's going to disagree with what I say, but I think everyone 
emphasizes that you can only have a good game if you score a goal or get an assist. Genie had so many good games where he didn't get a goal or an assist and he yeah. shined for Liverpool. It's not just about goals and assists. Like fact, The same people who say that Genie's rubbish because he didn't score are the same people who call Bruno Fernandes rubbish because he does score. Like We've got to have some middle ground here, man. Like Goals and assists aren't the be-all and end-all. Extremely important, yes, don't get me wrong, but you should be able to watch Genie over the course of a season and know that like he's a great player. But again, that's just my humble opinion. Um, Night Series 5 Jamrock says Genie played an eight on many occasions. It's on clock. I think Drifty explained that quite well, though, in the sense of the personnel around him and having to do yeah. a job for the team. Um, M says, um, and DD and Fab in the six, let the rest attack. Thoughts? Well, if we've got 80 million for NDD, then fair enough. <laughs> yeah, Leicester are going to be happening. asking for no small fighting when no. it comes to any of their players, to be fair. Any of them. Um, all right, let's move on from Genie then, people. Um, but staying on the topic of centre midfield. So, again, conflicting reports about um, Newhouse. Apparently, some are saying that he looks more close to joining than he was before. Others are saying he's going to stay another year at Britshire. So, yeah, uh, much and glad back. What I'm going to ask you both now is, if Neuhaus doesn't come, Neuhaus doesn't come, and again, again, there's talks that Genie's not going to be replaced with an incoming midfielder. If he's not replaced by a new signing, do we have enough of midfield to cover Genie? Especially if we switch to a 4 2 3 1. Not with the track record of Ox, Nabi, and Shakiri, no. Should we not put Henderson in that as well? Kind of. Kind oh. of. You know, do you know why I don't put Hendo in that bracket, even though you're right? Because his performances are outstanding when he's visible. And it kind of makes it feel a bit better when he's not there. You don't feel like you can be angry at him. In the same way, when you look at Ox, Naby and Shakiri, and you just think, even when you are fit, you still don't do fuck all. And then within a couple of weeks, you're gone again. You get what I mean? Whereas, you know, with Hendo, he is starting to become a little bit injury prone. But when he's there, he's impeccable. His performances are always there. You know what I mean? And you don't feel like he's he's not dead weight in the team. Do you know what I mean? Whereas, yeah. we're, we're being honest, Ox, Shep and Naby feel like dead weight in the team. We know those players are exceptionally talented players. Look what Shakiri's doing in the tournament now for Swiss. Like we know they're exceptionally good players talent wise, but they feel like they they feel like dead weight in the Liverpool team. We feel mm. if there was a hole in the boat, you'd be like, we got to get some weight gone. Then man, they've got to go overboard first, make the boat a bit lighter. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm, yeah. So, yeah. Um, shout to he doesn't do ifs, buts, or maybes. He does absolutes. Our brother James Redman. Um, so Gundawan was bad before he started scoring for City. No, he can just play multiple roles like Genie. Facts again. Yeah. Facts again. What was and he? Um... I'll be honest. Sorry to cut you, Matt. No, no, no. Go. Gundawan before this season, in my opinion, didn't have a better season than any of Genie's seasons. No. In my personal opinion. Oh, no, no, one say, say that again. I, so, in the seasons that Genie and Gundogan have been at the club, apart from yeah. the season just gone, yeah. I think Genie's performed better in every single season. Agreed. Yeah, agreed. Fully but agreed. not one person would be saying that Gundogan is rubbish. I leave it there. Uh, Liam Kenny says a summer window getting silver. Rafinha, Canante, and Newhouse would be saucy. Shame we are dreaming of this type of stuff. Congrats on the new little one, Matt Lad. Much love, guys. Thank you, my bro. I'm you gonna know I'm gonna reserve judgment until the end of the summer. Lee, so, what Liam just said there is my dream summer in terms of being realistic of what I know is the ultimate we're capable of doing. That I'm not gonna put my mindset in the way of Kane and all that lot. But Rafinha, Mortgage, we've already got Kanate. That is actually being very realistic. And Liverpool should be able to pull those, those signings off. Do you know what I mean? And who was the other guy? There was one guy. Was it Rafinha, I, Andre Silva? I know, Silva. Yeah. Listen, that would be a beaut. I, I would be gashed, you know. I can't lie to you. If we got Silva, Rafinha, Neuhaus and Kanate, 
I would actually be gasped with that summer. I genuinely I'll, would. I'll be honest, I'm still not fully sold on Silva, you know. Never. Do you know what? Funny you say that. Now, I think he's good, but... Right. I rate him. I rate him enough to give him a go at the budget that we're on. Yeah. No, do you know what? In terms of, like... In terms Only of... outscored by Lewandowski in the German league last no, season. No, I know. Haaland's but... in that league. But here's the thing, though. Lewandowski and Haaland, as you said, they're in that league, but they've done it like consistent. Like, he's at one season where everyone's gone, look at Andre Silva. Like, I need to see, just so mad, yeah. He was a bad boy before he went Milan, you know. That's why he went Milan with the hype, remember? Nah, and he's nah, still only 23, 24 nah, bro, years old. He's still nah, relatively but, young. But let's be real. He battled at the Portuguese league, and I'm not taking that in the way because Bruno Fernandes has come over and he's done very well for my United. But even at, even at Porto, he was good. He weren't like, bro. He weren't like flipping Lewandowski of the Portuguese. He was good in it. He was good, and I gave him credit. Good enough Milan, to get a move. Not true. When he went to Milan, I thought, yes, finally, my, my Milan. Now let's see what he can do. And he choked hard. I don't get twisted. Sometimes it can happen. In, in a it dead can... Milan team, though, bro. That Milan team was dead. Can but you bro, really blame him? But bro, sometimes you can be the. Suso stand-up. was their best player, bro. That kind of says a lot. Bro, sometimes you could be the standout, though. He wasn't even a standout of all them players, though. He's, but he's a serviceman. He's a serviceman. He's not he going to do a Luis Suarez. You're right. You're right. He, he's, he's a, a serviceman. Service and if he's got service, yeah. he's got Thiago, Fabinho, Mane, no, Salah, right. but I just... Bobby, all putting balls on the plate for him, bro. But I, mean, I reckon something... he'll be like collecting marbles, bro. I'm just saying. No, I hear what you're saying. But you know, Liverpool, we've always had that striker, yeah, that... He can just do his own thing. Like, he, like all right, let me, let me give an example. Robbie Fowler mm. can do his own thing. Michael Owen, and I'm talking, can do his own thing. Bro, flipping, dare I say it? No, I mean, dare I say it? What am I talking about, dare I say it? Daniel Sturridge can do his own thing. Big up Daniel Sturridge. We're going to get you on this show, bro. Mark my words. Um, Fernando Torres can do his own thing. His own thing. Bro, Suarez. I'm forgetting the name. I'm forgetting the name. I'm forgetting the name. No, but you know what you're doing now, Matt. You're <laughs> naming. <laughs> oh, 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 Bobby. Oh, there he is. Bobby. 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 Bro, what, so bro, many what you're doing you know, now, Matt, is you're naming. Yeah. If we said the Premier League's best 20 strikers of all time, I every single you. person you name goes in there, bro. Oh, 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 all right. Let me give you another name. All right, let, we, ain't got to, we, we ain't got top 20 of all time money, bro. <laughs> let, all right, Jib, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Ain't, not, this, is, this is really going to test you. Jibro Cisse or Andre Silva? Oh, Jibro Cisse. That was my guy, bro. And let's be real. I love Jibro Cisse. Yeah, I love Jibro Cisse. Bad boy player. But see Cisse. He was one of those players where, like, he'll just... He might not have been the most techiest player, yeah? Techiest. Mm. But when it comes to goal scoring and just knowing where the goal was, he'd just score a goal. I think Andre Silva is... I don't want to say... He's like a B-tech version of c He's, he's Gibral without pace, then, basically. Yeah, but I that's the thing. c had that... Point. You know what it is? c had that explosiveness that could, like... Just change something yeah, yeah. like that. I think yeah. with Silva, it has yeah, to be... the hardest shot in... I've ever seen in my life. Oh, my <laughs> you see, say? One yeah, of the hardest. Bro. No, bad studio, the... bro. I don't mean... I, obviously, I don't mean literally of all time. Yeah, but yeah, like, yeah. Because then I could also say Roberto Carlos. And, you know what I mean? And we started getting No, crazy, but when, when, when Gibro hit that ball, it stayed hit. That's all I'm saying. Like, he yeah. could clap nah, he could, ball, he, could, like... he could, to be fair. But, what, yeah. When I, when I think of someone clapping a ball, I just... I just think Bat Stewart and I just think I wouldn't want to be a goal. No, Bat Stewart like was horrible. He'll make <laughs> he'll make you just not want to go in goal. Man would kick the ball like it was a goal kick with just mad accuracy. And was just Could like, you imagine? Was that, except... was that even necessary, Gabriel? Like, I'm it, not gonna lie. You if you was a goalkeeper that. and you went to school with him, you'd be like, "Hey, Gabriel, ah, yeah, don't long. allow it." It's My mum's bought me all new gloves and that. Like, it's long. Breaking, breaking fingers. Falangi's oh. gone. Falangi's just gone. <laughs> Forget Bro, about that. Oh, someone Bro. said Risa. Yeah, Risa could clap. Oh, yeah, still. Risa, Risa. Yeah, Risa could clap. Yeah, Risa, still. yeah, yeah. But no, um, listen, again, Silva, if we used to sign him, I wouldn't say that I would be upset. I would just still be a little bit like I'm not sure. And it'll be yeah. this. And I'll be honest, it's the same thing like how I felt with Jota. Yeah. With Jota, with Drift, you were gassed. 
remember we spoke. I was like, oh, Jeff, he's good, but I don't know for that type of money. And he proved me wrong. And that's why mm. I was one of them things where I can admit. But right now, if we signed him, I'd be a bit like, I'm not sure. Mm. Yeah, proved me so. wrong. It's one of them ones. Night 75 Jamrock says, Naby hasn't been injured from um, 0 to 18. So February 18th, Klopp has just lost faith. Potentially. Um, I William he's on the market. Like one of them ones. William says, we don't need that all-round strike on the clock. We need a finisher. That's it. Fair enough. That's, that's, that's and that's, that, that, that would be the reason why Andre would be who I would like because he is a finisher. He's very good in the air. He's very clinical for like, you know, the price range that we're looking at. And I think he has the capability of being a one chance, one goal type of guy if, if he gets used to the team. So he ain't a world beater. I know that. But I think... I think he could do well for us for the price we'd pay for him. I do. Fox in the box. That's what we need now. We need a Jermaine Defoe or we just need like that Fox in the box, the guy who's just mm-hmm. going to get goals. That's, I just want a guy that don't get involved, don't get do the build up, no nothing. Yeah, he just yeah, gets yeah. in the box and puts the ball in the back of the net. That, that's it. Flirting with offside like all match. Flirting yeah, with like offside that. all match. I want him to flirt with offside so much that his girl's jealous. Like that's how much I want him to be flirting bro, with offside just you know in so the much. box, bro. This is the last one I'm going to bring up. If we could... When, I don't like to be that club that ever goes back. I, I don't. But I'm going to say one name. Cal's looking at me thinking, who's Matt going to say? Danny Ings. Injuries. Would you take Ings or Silva? No, I'll take Silva for the injuries. Cal? I think, Ing, I think Ings would be a little bit of a risk. I'd, for risk, I'd risk it more for Ings. Would you? Risk it? Yeah. For Ings over Silva, I would risk it. I think our style of play would get Danny Ings more injuries than not. <laughs> but than goals, I think it's say more than goals. <laughs> um, I, I think Ings is a better player. Ings and is I a think he's just as good a finisher. But it's the injuries, you just got a point, it's the injuries though. You kind of think... <sighs> yeah. I'd have to go silver because of age. But I yeah, think he's... if you could give Ings no injuries, then flipping out. No um, injury Ings is a beast, bro. Trust me. Night 75 Jamrock says, need one striker in our team that needs one in three chances. Agreed. Alfonso Bell says, uh, no, we don't. Genie leaves a 4K um, minute hole in our squad. I'm not sure if I get that. Um, if you can, just clear that for me, Alfonso. Um, Magic Mastermind asks, Sturridge in 13-14 or Firmino in 17-18? That is. <laughs> All right. Let no me go comment. first. Let me go no, first. No, I'm not. No comment. Are we going to answer this? Or is this, it, or is this a show? Is, it, is this a versus? <laughs> is this a versus for the, for, the, for, for, the, for the people then? Maybe for the members. Become a member, people. Might be a versus. Just saying. Just saying. Um, I, 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 I actually refuse to comment. No, do you know what? I think we should do a versus. I'm not going to answer that. Could, could break a lot of hearts and cause a lot of headaches, but fair enough. Because I think it's, I think it's actually a mad comparison because even though one scored more than the other, one of them was playing with an all-worldly striker. The other one, though was balling out and set a record in the Champions League, if I'm not mistaken, as well. I don't think they're compar- I don't I don't think they're comparable. And, and I say it? and I say this, the reason I say that is because and again, everyone might disagree with this. I don't think Firmino would work as well next to Suarez as Sturridge did. But likewise I don't think Sturridge would work as well with Mane and Salah as Firmino did that season. What you just did there, you literally just went like this. You just literally drew a donut. You skidded around the whole thing. You didn't even answer the question. No, I'll be, I'll be honest. Cause you I'll be didn't honest. even answer the question, no, I, you know? I, I, kid, I kid you not. I you didn't even can't. answer it. You... No, yeah, I'll tell go, you why go. as well. Yeah, go, go, go. As a goal scorer, Sturridge is way better than Firmino. Yeah, we, we know. But as a creator, I think yeah. Bobby is... And just as an overall involved in the game, I think Bobby's clear as Sturridge. So, I think... I so, what's think your it's answer? Hard to, 
I you don't can't I say genu- it. See, it's I not genu- easy. No, I swear to you, I, I can't decide between the two. I think it depends on what you want. I don't think I know, one. I know, I know, I know, I want. I know, I know. I can see. <laughs> <laughs> no, look. If if someone said storage, I'll be honest. Yeah, if yeah. someone said storage, I genuinely wouldn't be like, no, no. I like, I'd be like, fair enough. Like, if someone said Bobby, I'd be like, fair enough. I personally can't separate the Bro, two. They both like, had amazing seasons. I just think which is the verses, isn't it? Because I think I'm just saying. I think, I think it's a harder question than a lot of people think. It is. I think a lot yeah. of people have shown a lot of disrespect for it. I think it's become a bit of a easy, oh yeah, we just brush Bobby because he hasn't been playing well recently, so it's easy to dig him out. If I said to you, who scored the best goals? You'd look at both of them and you'd think you would go Sturridge and then you'd go, oh no, but hold on a minute. Remember that goal that Bobby scored? Remember that goal that Bobby scored? Oh, and then if you went on impact, you might just think it's what, well, like, I think that that debate in terms of importance of the player for those two seasons is actually so close that I'm just going to catch bare splinters on the fence real talk like I am. I'm just, I like, I, I feel like that is such a mad, like, I, you know, I'm the beauty sh- of it is both of these bad boys played for Liverpool. That's the I'm beauty of it. It's just out. a shame that Sturridge had to leave, isn't it? I want to bring up some stats. Still, um, if, you not, if you not go watch some of them Bobby compilations, yeah, and just remember what he was about before this little rut that he's in, uh, it's different gravy, you know. It, uh, it's right. different gravy. Like, let me I'm say, let, let me say this here. You see that them two seasons that they're comparing, yeah. yeah. So in all competitions in thirteen and fourteen, Sturridge got twenty four goals, yeah, in thirty three appearances. That's in all competitions, yeah, twenty four yeah. in thirty three. Yeah, sorry, thirty three. Roberto Firmino got twenty seven. Way more in games, 50, though. Way more games, yeah. In 54. But I haven't even... Sp- and again, I'm not even looking at assists. Because I think if we go to assists, then it's a landslide. I, can't I don't think it would be a landslide. No, I think it might be more... No, but here's the thing, though, it. guys. Forget about, forget about looking at it statistically. We both have fond enough memories of the season overall to know what about watching the player and what he meant to the team. Forget yeah, yeah, about of course, just of course. the stats. Both mm. players were instrumental in us being as good yeah. as we were. Probably. Both players. So for me, I actually think it's unfair to give a winner. Genuinely, I'm not even just being on the fence for the hell of it. I think it's genuinely unfair to give a winner because they were both instrumental. Both of them were playing a, a, like a, you know, like Tom Cruise next to um, Dustin Hoffman in Rain Man. Both of them were playing that role, but you end up getting the Oscar still, though. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, you ain't the lead man. That was Suarez and Salah. But you end up with the Oscar. Because you was, like, your role was instrumental in that guy being who he was. I think it's very unfair to say which one of those two had the better season in that. I think it's a tough one. Um, Agopa says, imagine a summer where City signed Kane and Grealish, United signed Sancho, Chelsea signed Haaland, Madrid signed Mbappe, and we lose Salah. Whoa. Oh, whoa, 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 and, whoa. And, and, whoa to PSG. So, who would our whoa. replacement be? You, <laughs> do you know what they'll say? Do you know what they'll say? Actually, they'll be like, Don't worry, man. We got we're, like no disrespect because I think he's actually, no, I don't want to say his name because he's, he's gonna be sick, <laughs> but they'll be like, Don't worry, man. We'll just keep the money and we'll use Harvey Elliott all season long. That's what they'll do. He's like a new signing. Me after reading this super chat. Is this... True or false, you will fight again this year. It's hard to put it. I, 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 I... That's. <laughs> I ain't got no comeback to that question. No, nah, like... if that actually happened, though, that's where you're just like. What? Do you know what? One thing I will say. I think there's a little myth going around that whenever we sell a player, FSG pocket the money. They actually don't. The money goes back into transfers. They they. I don't think so. I don't think they've ever pocketed money from sales. I think it's always kind of balanced out. Again, this is not me trying to stick up for them, but I think there's a little myth going around that if we sell a player for big money, we FSG just keep the money and we just look in the squad for replacements. I think that's a bit disingenuous. But have you seen the footage of um, JW Henry whenever we sell a player? <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> how I caught me still. Hey, LeBron! Go and balance Conrad. those checks, y'all. <laughs> Says good evening, um, guys. Welcome back, Matt. Good evening to yourself, John Conway. Hey, what's going on, John? You say we make a sell, John Henry, just like the boom. <laughs> we going out tonight, baby. <laughs> we gonna hit the strip club. We gonna throw them dollars, baby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> LeBron. <laughs> Tell the wifey to say, "Oh, now nah, we gonna party." Hey, like well, you don't know. Yeah, that might be on Cisco. Is it? But, yeah. <laughs> 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 we gonna be doing, we gonna be throwing them hundreds, baby. <laughs> Where we gonna go? We gonna fly a joint? We gonna fly a mirror joint? Okay, okay. You just you just beat the brakes off Logan. We might as well go down there, chop it up with the kids. You know how we do. <laughs> make sure they got the, make sure they got their premium <laughs> ladies out there tonight. <laughs> we gonna spend the racks, yeah, baby. <laughs> I'm not oh, gonna lie, cow mate. <laughs> How makes Jay uh, Henry sound like a cool guy? <laughs> After tonight, y'all gonna call me Tiger because it's gonna be Rack City, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats on the new baby, bro. Congrats. Thank again, you, my bro. Man. No, I need to bring that Cisco um <laughs> thing on, up on on up on there, man. Yeah. yeah! <laughs> <laughs> well, we got a bit from Sally. You know what to tell him, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> PSG got that air room money. <laughs> they got that air room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't even fax that. Just watch up, them people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um. All right. Couple news. Couple other stories. Oh, before man. We, um, head off. Um. <coughs> so, rumors are that Liverpool's old physio is coming back to the club. Now, shout out. That's, a, that's yeah. a reason to shout. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the um, thing is, you you know yeah. I've got the Cisco in your head, but anytime I hear yeah, I just think little John. I can't even think of anyone. Else. <laughs> oh, little, little John's little one John. as well, isn't it? No, for real. Yeah. Um, oh my days. Turn down think, for what? I think we should do a dedicated show on injuries because again, I may be in the minority when I say this, but I think the physios <clears throat> have come under a lot of scrutiny this season. But if you actually look at the type of injuries we've got. We could have had the best physios, and I don't think we'd have been okay this season. Plus, Cal, if everyone kept getting food poisoning, you're not going to wonder what's going on. You're going to check the kitchen and ask the chef what he's doing, bro. All right, all right. But if we're to quickly go through the injuries, Drift, mm. how many of them were caused because of bad physio in? If that's even a word, physio in. I don't know. That's <laughs> 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 physio in, you know. I'm just out here making up words now, you know, trying to look like, smart. LeBron, we just make up names too. <laughs> <laughs> Add an ing to the end. They gonna think it's a word anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when they say physio in, yeah, practice of physio, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> ing baby ain't gonna know no scissors. It's past tense and present. Might even be future. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if that's a word. It wouldn't even be a G, but it would just be I N. <laughs> I'm actually done, lads. I'm done. I'm actually done. So, what, oh might, yeah, the, all right, you know past, what it is, Cal. Yeah, you're right. If I look at future, if I look at Gomez, <laughs> if I look at Van Dyke, if I look at Thiago, <laughs> for example, they were all assaulted. Yeah, you can't blame a physio for somebody being assaulted. All right, fair enough. I get your yeah, point. Yeah, that's good. Um, <laughs> Matic with his ankle. I guess that's you can Matic. kind of not blame the physio. All right, fair enough. Mm. But when you've got people in the team who it ain't impact based and they just can't get fit and they can't like be a part of the team, so to speak, on a regular basis. Even the fact that like Simicast came to the club and got injured straight away. I'm thinking, is it, 
Is it the training? Yeah, no, no, but within sword. a week or two, he was also injured as well, remember? <clears throat> I don't know if he was. I think it was... Crazy. No, he was. I'm, 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 my memory can't be that bad. I'm sure Simakas came back from COVID and then got injured. <clears throat> ben Davis <clears throat> apparently got injured the day he arrived. No, he went, He um, never turned up, bro. <laughs> he never yeah, turned then, up. Then you've got players in the team that I guess if you're injury prone, you are injury prone, but you've got the players, no point naming them again, who were always out all the time with their injuries yeah. or whatever. And I just think to myself, is it something to do with it? Because remember, our physio is is in connection with the sports science team, right? And they work together to make sure that all of the plans and everything is set out for who needs to do what, who might need a different regimen, et cetera, et cetera. And I think you've got to like also put that into it. We're not just talking about he puts his hands on him like a witch doctor and heals him magically. That ain't what a physio is. A physio is part of the overall thing. And... Klopp puts the physios in charge of getting the players back on the pitch for him, whatever means it is, whatever regiment is needed, whatever it is. Well, let's not and it's a bit of a coincidence that the, this man came in and we just, everything just <coughs> seemed to be all over the place with regards to getting players fit. I hear you. But again, we've had a season like no other where players like Virgil, Gomez going to England, you getting injured, Matip playing and getting injured. We've had a season though, like unlike any other. And again, We've all watched that Tottenham program on um, Amazon. But physio told manager certain times, look, he can't play, and the manager puts his foot down and says he's playing. So we don't know what always. I don't think Klopp team. does Mourinho moves, but no, yeah. I'm not saying he does Mourinho mm. moves like that. But remember how strained our squad was. Maybe Klopp certain times was like, you know what, we need to field an eleven. We're gonna have to put him in a situation where we'd play him, but we wouldn't usually if we had more numbers. So, again, I think it's unfair to say it's all down to the physios. I think maybe they have some of the blame, but sometimes it's just circumstances. Sometimes you just have a bad run. Um, yeah, maybe. Uh, 975 true. Jamrock says, correct, Cal. It shows in the book <coughs> when they sell players. Cal, you need a better accent. They're from, all from Boston, not from down south. In my mind, they're from down south, man. In, in my mind, they're They are, man. They have south, to be from down they just, south. They just cleaned up their act because they're money, man, now. But... Back in the day, John W. Henry was... was you know, was the Boston accent is quite difficult to do. I'd have to I'd... listen to it to see if I could... Same. I you, 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 you'd, you'd, have to, you'd have to talk like Mark Wahlberg. It's quite... It's, it's actually That's what quite I was going to say. Not, it's not as exciting, man. No, no. The Boston accent is joke. But it's, it's quite it. difficult it to is, imitate. It is, but it's just that... I just, when I think of down south, I just think of the amount of people <laughs> like, from down south is mad. Um, 1985 Jamrock says Pierce on another show said <clears throat> Davies had soft tissue. <laughs> I, could, I could say so many puns around that, but I won't. I was yeah, going to say not, in his yeah, pocket. There, <laughs> um, there's a lot that yeah. can. Yeah, I, could, I could do a lot with that. My comedic mind is going crazy with that, but I won't. Um, Star Days and says Arsenal physio is garbage. Is it inside man? Denzel Washington settings. He's um, in the back. <laughs> um. Knights at five Jamrock says cow is preliminary muscle prelimin- primarily muscle injuries in training. I'd have to look, go back over that and double check. Uh, Nisa said, and the boys don't sleep on the Germany team, man. Is that a, I was I think that's a is that a second one? And the boys don't sleep on the Germany team, man. Don't sleep what? on Germany winning the Euros, maybe though. What do you mean? Oh yes, I think so. Yes. I'd Germany never, would definitely be on, there or there about. Yeah, never sleep on Germany. Um, Liam says, any figures being rumoured as to how well the night deal had done in the first year, especially with that 20%? No, there hasn't been. No. There hasn't been. Wow. It's a good shot, actually. I, I forgot all about that. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. A lot is made of it. We'll see. Um, Demo Train 9 says Davies will be a star for us. Watch the shooting star, maybe. Um, you know, that's hey, you know what, Demo, j- Demo, just quickly, bro. Do you play centre back yourself? Because I've noticed that Demo does like watching defenders more than attackers. So I'm wondering if Demo's a defender himself. Nah, I, I gotta disagree with that because I know he, he, he mentions a lot of attacking players from the academy as well. Oh, okay, fair enough. But he, he does mention a lot of attacking players. But I thought what, he meant when you see though. generational in that Phillips, you see generational. He just saw it before all of us, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Gosh, Demo should did. be a scout. He did. <laughs> Maybe no, no, Demo be does play centre back. Oh, I knew he it. Does. Oh. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> you can, you can tell. You can tell when someone knows about a position more than others that he plays that position himself. I knew it. 
I knew it. Well, may, look, well, maybe um, even more reason to get him in as a scout, isn't it? Even more reason, maybe. For real. Um, guys, we are going to leave you with a question um, and sort of want to get your thoughts on it. Rail seating at Anfield is looking to be introduced or trialled, I believe, next season. Obviously, rail seating hits differently for, for Liverpool fans because of Hillsborough, etc. For you guys watching, for you guys in the comments now, etc., I would really, really just like to get your take on it. Um, we all know the story of Hillsborough. I don't want to bring that story back to the service. We all know how painful it is. Um, obviously, technology has improved, but at the same time, you don't want to put people at, at unnecessary risk if you don't have to, especially Girl. given what's happened. <clears throat> Just quickly, you two, what's your thoughts on it? And then obviously everyone in the comments would like to get your thoughts as well in the comments below. Um, It's only beneficial from a financial point of view because you can is, fit more people in, isn't it? That's yeah. the only... That literally is the only benefit to it. I disagree. Also but from an atmosphere wise, standpoint. But, but safety. What's, what's more important than anything? Oh, safety is the absolute... But this is what I'm saying. I, again, I, I don't know the ins and outs. I don't know. Again, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. why they're trying it. If they can do it safely. If they can do it safely. The thing, uh, the thing is, we say safely, yeah. I guess it depends. Like, safety's in the eye of the beholder, so to speak, of what you would consider safety. Because I'm not going to mm. lie. For example, Matt, yeah. We was in the executive box, yeah. Which technically should be the safest place you could be. But I nearly accidentally threw you over the railings while we were celebrating. And your <laughs> phone did go over the railings. That is so what I'm saying true. is, that what is I'm saying true. is, turning to Hulk when we score, bro. That what is most so people true. do, you though, bro. Through your living room wall, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you know so much, yeah. My back ain't ever been the same. I'll thing, never bro. forget that day. Oh, never. <laughs> the way how drifty switches. <laughs> It's that man was possessed man, by bro. some some <laughs> Liverpool ghost or something, bro. Man, man just said, one ah, hand, bro. Come on. <laughs> like breaking my, I'm thinking drift from the phone. I'm breaking my back here. Yeah? I'm thinking the phone, but the phone dropped on the floor. Yeah, what's up, guys? You see the footage? Like someone actually stamps on the phone. <laughs> like fully, all you hear is on the footage. Go watch it, people. <laughs> We hear it, and I was like, "Oh, the phone!" I just was like, "Bro, I'm so sorry." Yeah, I picked up the phone. Yeah, but the phone was fine. It's so, bro, it's one of the maddest things ever. Like, bro, you didn't pick crazy. it up. Remember the person that had to pass it back to it. Yeah, to pass, pass it back. back. This is what I'm saying. Bro, I was mad. Oh boy. No. But you know what? So, uh, so you get what I mean? Like, I feel like. If you're around a lot of people that can just go, yay, whatever, yeah, then it can true, be like true. completely safe. But then again, even in the seating area, you could accidentally fall over the seat and into the person in front of you. If you're someone who celebrates like I do and you get a bit carried away. I don't really know. I don't know. It's difficult, isn't it? It's, it's kind of hard to gauge whether... I mean, I wouldn't put children in that section. That's no. not because they can get crushed very easily. So... It would definitely have to be at over 18s or or whatever that you know. What I mean, you, you can't have small children or anything like that in that bit. Um, Agreed. Yeah, I don't know. It's, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't think know. you know what it is. A, a lot has changed, obviously, um, since that tragic event. And you'd like to think that you know technology and just things like that have caught up. So I think it's a case of less. Uh, dare I say, it, let's see what happens in it. Let's see. I that's hate all, being told to sit down. Like the I stewards hate. kept telling us to sit down and yeah, it was getting did, on my neck. Did. Like I felt like But saying, you understand Do you know though. where we are. No, I know, but you know what's so magic? In that in that moment when you're at the but, game, yeah. But away fans you... never sit down. No, no, I hear you. But you see, it, here's the thing where I get it. When you're at the mm -hmm. game and like they were telling me just like sit down, like we just were like just kept on standing up, right? But when you look back at it, you understand it. Because what can happen is emotion takes over in football. And when that does, you kind of just, like, lose sight of things. Like, you're just, like, <clears throat> like, spaz out or something. And you might even accidentally push someone and that cause it. Do you know what I'm saying? So, I get it. I honestly do get it when it comes to the no, like, sit down thing. But at the same time, it's like, bro, I just want to, like, express myself, innit? Like, I'm happy. Let me stand up and watch the get, like, 
Uh, it's, it's it's a tough one. It is tough. I can't lie. M- um, remember that time tough. when I stood up and Virgil personally pointed up? You need those moments. Hang on, what? <laughs> that <laughs> me, me and Virgil had a moment. You need that. that. Bro, you need that. There's about there's about fifty there's about fifty four thousand people, <laughs> yeah. Point, yeah. When we stood that. up, yeah, but I, I'm not gonna lie, that Virgil did look up, he actually did. But I was just supposed to know that Virgil <laughs> directly him like it was some Simba moment where man. Like, I'll be yeah. I'll be completely honest with you. It's light skin telepathy. I know we oh. like we uh, we know uh, it's, we uh, know uh, in it. We his know, brother. All right, when we, we next when we next see Virgil, I we're can't asking. explain it, bro. We're you know, asking. like when a twin knows the other twin's in trouble. I can't explain it. Bro. <laughs> we'll ask him. We'll ask him. Uh, Star Daisy says, "Daka <laughs> Newhouse, <Tomato. laughs> um, can we yeah. win the league? If we sign those three players, guys, you reckon we can What's win that? the league?" Daka, yeah, Newhouse, and Canate. Can we win the league? We can definitely challenge, hundred percent. I don't know if we will win it. We can. De- in fact, no. Do you know what? <clears throat> yeah, we can win the league. I'll tell you why. Because even if uh, Daka don't play every game and he rotates with Bobby, and Newhouse comes in and rotates with other midfielders and Canate rotates, yeah, we can win the league. Let's be real. We can win the league. We can. You don't I look don't convinced, Carl, but we can. Uh, I, uh, but don't worry, Dak is going Leicester, so I don't even know why you're getting upset. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, uh, yeah, no, 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 no. Um, Peterson says, "Have you seen the Germany left back Gonzo? He had Portugal on smoke." Admittedly, I've not seen any games from the weekend. I saw him. He looks decent, but again, I need to see him. This is the thing. When you see someone in a tournament and they can ball out, you sometimes get carried away. You want to see them over a course of a season. I haven't watched him through a course of a season. He's having a very good tournament, though. I will say that. Give him credit. Yeah. He's having a good tournament. One thing I really <clears> to <throat> say is uh, people obviously get frustrated the lack of transfer activity. You have to understand it's the Euros. Yeah. Very, very unlikely we're going to do any business, whether it's, it's incomings or outgoings, because you have to... Just <clears throat> logistically and logically, it wouldn't make sense. Let's say, for yeah. example... Like God, like we went and let's say let's we did the madness and we went and bought Harry Kane. It wouldn't be smart to do it now because God forbid he goes against Man City, injured. yeah. No, I'm saying God forbid he goes against injured in the next game, then you've just paid for a player who's not gonna help you for a season potentially. So it makes zero sense doing it just now. Um some say that clip of Genie and Klopp went the ground with the Genie. Man weren't even at the game. What are you saying, man? <laughs> you just had your cardboard <laughs> cow, <power>, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> the cardboard cow just left it in the stadium. <laughs> no, but I just I just did a Dragon Ball Z, bro, and I just teleported there real quick, gave man what? a little whoop, 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 and then I came home, bro. Man said instant <laughs> translocation, you know? Yeah, bro. Like, I was there, bro. Um, Iver Stella says we need Marlon, Blinkovic, Savic, and Vlahovic. You're not asking for much, are you, mate? No, I'm joking. I'm no, but to be fair, those players are. I'm still not fully sold on Marlon either. No, you know what? <laughs> they say, what about dark skin diligence? That is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, with Marlon, I've yeah, always said dogs. this. I think he's skillful, crafty, but as a finisher, I don't think he's a pure finisher. I don't yeah, think nice. he is. I don't think he is. Did um, I say it? Pats and Dakar actually might be a better finisher than Marlon. I'm not even joking when I said that either, you know. As a natural it finisher, pro- I it probably Marlon's a, is. Marlon's a better like player. Marlon, Marlon kind of has a, a clock vibe about him that I like, though. I can tell a player that I think would, He's got, would, like, think would to... do well with. All right, but hear me out, though. We've been screaming out for someone just to just put the ball in the back of the net. We've got them crafty players already, so to speak. We just need that number nine, like that Harry Kane. That Man City. No, we, like, we we do. Yeah, with your, we we do. If you're talking about mm. the 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 main main striker that we're trying to buy, but you know what, a player like Marlon for like thirty million, we should be doing that to bolster the squad with the view that he could become a first team player. And therefore, I think people like like. All right, let me give an example of me dreaming but being realistic at the same time. If if we went for a summer where we bought Marlon, Silva, and Rafinha. I would, I, in my opinion, I'd be like, right, Jota is now going to be the um the second striker. 
Firmino's going to drop and be another midfielder. We don't need to buy a genie replacement. We're going to use Bobby as a midfielder now. Rafinha yeah. and Marlon are coming in to be backups yeah. to Mane and Mo. But you know what? If they bust it up, they're my old bench. That's how it goes now. And they've got the talent to be good enough to take their man's place potentially. Then I would look at the situation yeah, and go, yeah, that yeah. was great, great, um, you know, transfer, great, like, targeting, just great overall plan of what to do for the summer. We've got options and we've got cover now. You get what I mean? Like, for me, yeah. that would make sense. And Marlon is a perfect player to come in and be one of those guys. He could get there, but right now, I think he'd be like, oh, my name Mo, I'll work my way in. I'm not going to, I I don't, I shouldn't just start at Liverpool. I'm not better than Mo Salah. Therefore, but I'm going to work my hey. way in. I'm going to prove I shouldn't be dropped. You get what I mean? And at the price, yeah. I'm saying 35 mil for Silva, 30 to 35 mil for Marlon, Rafinha about 50 to 60 mil. This is actually realistic things. I'm saying we should be able to do this. This isn't out of the ordinary. It's no. not, you know what I mean? We should be able to do this. Um, John Summers says, <clears throat> do you think <clears throat> Vlahovic would be a good signing? I don't know. He's been good where he is. Yeah, it has to, it's good. one of them ones, yeah, yeah, where you have to... I think he's a good finisher, I do. And he's that kind of guy that you kind of think, well, someone said one in three, he might be that guy. It's just whether he would fit into... Dare I say it, <clears throat> with Italians as well, it's the whole homesick thing as well. Like, would he just settle in Liverpool? Would he feel I comfortable? I don't think he's Italian. So, one well, might say Italian, but I'm talking about even Playing, players from... Yeah, players from... Italy. Italy. Yeah. There hasn't been a lot, of, a lot of players. And he was probably the worst excuse I could have used, but because I was thinking about Akalani. Mm -hmm. But just in general, there's not many Sorry, players. I don't even mean to do it. Sorry. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Jeff puts a comment up and I'm doing it at the same time. I think there's a slight delay between the yeah, 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 delay. Yeah. He might, just try to, he might be thinking yeah. I'm, just trying, I'm just trying to sabotage the thing still. No, 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 no. Yeah. I can tell that we're both accidentally <laughs> yeah. doing it at different times. I just wanted to bring up Emsy's one because he he, he 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 agrees with a lot of what we've said that um Bobby in the number eight role or playing the deeper role would actually be really good for him. Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah, that's what we're going up against. I mean, obviously, uh, I spoke to Daniel. Uh, he doesn't want to let me go. Uh, I spoke to Pep as well. They bid a hundred mil, obviously, and I say this word a lot. Obviously, uh, I'm not scoring goals. Uh, the Euros, you know, big up Raheem Sterling, but more importantly, I say each and every time, big up Delhi. <laughs> Delhi, I love you, my bro. We'll be back on this team. Um, and I just want to say, Daniel, if you're listening, I really want to go City. I will beg you, Daniel, just let me go. I mean, <clears throat> I can't score goals. <laughs> I can't hit the target. I'm not really involved in games. People are questioning my creditability. Um, <laughs> but obviously, uh, they think I've got a hamstring issue and, you know, fitness and that. But again, it, I'll say this again, Daniel. You have to free me and Dele. <laughs> if you're free, us both. So obviously, Daniel, you'll get the money you deserve and I'll score <laughs> goals again for England. And there won't be any, uh, you know, uh, uh, there won't be any, uh, yeah, I don't know. I've just lost for words. You see that bit of a hundred bill when you just got to look to yourself and think it's a career change. Uh, you know, big up Delhi, big up Spurs, <laughs> England, I love you. And uh, yeah, bring on James Sancho because uh, yeah, he reminds me of Delhi as well. Yeah, <laughs> peace. <laughs> I'll leave it there, people. <laughs> what are you saying? Kane's, de Kane. Kane's deliberately having a bad tournament to bring his valuation down. <laughs> Bro, I don't know what Kane's doing, but he ain't, he ain't playing like Kane. But I'll tell you this, yeah, all jokes aside. I think that's yeah. Southgate's fault, though. I'm not going to see. No, no, no. You Race see Kane, yeah? I, I'll say this. He He's not having a great tournament. Like, he's not. But we haven't exactly provided for man. And I kind of feel like the players around him aren't the right players. Bro, no Grealish. No Sancho. No Sancho. But, but he, listen... Big up with him Sterling because I think with him, England no. is such an easy fix for, for it. It's such an easy fix to get. Do you know what? Goals. Can I say something? Could you imagine if Pep Guardiola was in charge, especially Pep, when I use Pep an example? Could you imagine if Pep was in charge, yeah, of England's team? Do you know what Pep would do? Do you know what he'd actually do? He'll go, this is what Pep would do, yeah? Henderson or, or, or Phillips right. at the six, yeah? Right. He'll go. He'll go in the two eights. 
Mount and Grealish in the two eights. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if he'd do no, that. No, bro, he would. Who wants man to play and keep the ball? We're going to dominate games. I'm just saying, just putting it out there. No, He'll probably no. go Rashford left, Sancho right, came through the middle. I'm telling you, bro. See, Grealish and Mount as two eights. If it was Pep, he wouldn't leave Foden out the team. I would Oh, sorry. Him. Oh, my days, I forgot Foden. Sorry. So it'll be Foden. Sorry, I've got it wrong. I'm talking. Sorry, I've got that completely wrong. It'll be Foden on the uh, right hand side, I think. Sancho on the left. Then Grealish and um, Mount in the middle. All I know is that Mount, Grealish, and Foden and Sancho are all playing. They're all playing. They're I, all playing. I think it's as simple as going 4 2 3 1. And then you go Foden on the left, <laughs> Sancho on the right. So they directly create for Kane. You go Grealish in the 10. I love Mount as a player, but I think between him and Grealish, I think Grealish is a better player. And sometimes you can have, like, Mount can come off the bench or they can rotate, in my opinion. And no, then, Mount is good enough. No, Mount is good off the start, though. Yeah. Ahead of who in that in that three? What, in, in midfield? No, if, no, because I'd go to, to holding, man, and just let the front four just do their damage. You got to hold Sancho, it. Grealish and Kane would be an absolute madness. No, I'm just saying if Pep was in, because Pep would stick to that oh, trial and yeah. testing 4 3 3. I was just giving an again, example. We isn't say it? that yeah, though. Yeah. Pep might do something wild and play Stones and Maguire at fullbacks and then play a, a Calvin Phillips as a lone centre back to just to prove something. So we don't know with Pep. <laughs> <isn't> <laughs> that it? is kind of yeah. true. <laughs> no, but guys, don't you feel like that team would have a little lack of pace though? Sancho and Grealish. What, you think Grealish is slow? Nah, they're not rapid. They're they're <laughs> some, like like <laughs> Sancho's Sancho's fast, but Grealish and and, and Foden, they're not. They they've got bro, a bit of pace to bro, them, but Grealish, they're not rapid. No, 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 bro, 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 don't Foden be fooled. Quick, Grealish, you know? don't be fooled. No, nah, but yeah. but then I, what I mean is like I like I don't think Sterling should be playing. I think he's been playing poorly. But I yes. do believe that one of Sterling or Rashford should be in the team. For the pace for penetrating no, in behind. See, this is the problem. I, no, I do. I do. You're doing do. that whole. See, this is what I will say. Yeah. If you're talking about getting in behind, fair enough. You want to, you want to kind of stretch the defense all the time, yeah. But a lot of teams are playing with a high line. But Grealish and Foden, especially, but Grealish can burn players. He can, but not even that. Grealish can commit players better than anyone in the whole England setup. Yeah, committing players, but he's not he's not a rapid player though. No, but he's fast enough. Nah, he's not plus his, fast, his, his but... position is his position is deeper, isn't it? I mean, no, like, it, we need somebody I mean, on the last can, line. You can have all the pace in the world, though. Jeff. If you're not if you're not making the right decision and your finishing is not great, then like per, but for me, I would actually drop Mount and have a very good option coming off the bench. And I would play Foden where Mount is, and I play Rashford on the on the wing. No, them are not doing it. They're not cutting it. Bro. I, you know them what? I think Rashford it. can be relied upon to come up with important goals. I know a lot of people don't. I, he's not as good as people hype him to, but I think he is better than what people who don't rate him put him at. They they act like he's crap, and he's not. No, but and I'm saying for me, I think it would work well if he was on one side, Sancho is... on the other. Well, Kane's your only world class player in England. He's the only yes. world class player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're looking yeah. at it from that point of view, yeah. yeah I'm not, yeah, yeah no, yeah, yeah. Rashford ain't world class. So I'd have Rashford saying. left, Sancho right, Kane down the middle, and I'd have Foden and Grealish in the middle, and have Mount as a good option off the bench. See, That's what me, I would do. I, think I, would, have, I would have, I would have Grealish left, um, okay. <coughs> Kane <coughs> through the middle, Sancho right. That's my front three. Grealish, Kane, and Sancho. And then in midfield, I'll probably oh, you'd go... play Grealish in the front three? Yes. Yes, I would. I would. So that's where he plays for Villa. He, he bang, he balls up for Yeah, Villa but I'm left. thinking about the options that we have in the I team. I wouldn't play him there. I'd play him in a 10 as well, but that's where he plays for Villa. But again, like, flexibility though, but the fact that he ain't playing. Yeah, that's wild. That just don't make sense. Man. Bro, I, I rate Phillips and, 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 <clears throat> and Rice, yeah, but... If you're going to play Rice over... Even over Henderson, but I get Henderson's injured, but yeah, just come back. Then man are, oh, no. especially Rice, man, are, man are playing it hella safe. No risky balls, no progressive yeah, but, balls. But, but R- Rice is a good player, isn't it? No, I, he I, is, I don't he mind is. Rice or Phillips being, being a deep man on his own. They have to play good. the two sixes then, and then you have to have the ten yeah. minute where it's like a Grealish or a Foden or do you know what I mean? No, I, I, would, I, like... I would play four three three, and I would just have Rice or 
um, Phillips doing the deep role play on, the, on his own. I think Phillips is probably the better out of the two, you know. He's probably he more mobile. He can do more. Could do a bit more. I know when he and, played for Leeds, he's used to doing the role on his own. So maybe you're right. Maybe he'd be a bit better. And then yeah. I'd have Folden and Grealish as the two Roman midfielders doing, you know, the two Roman eights doing their thing. I feel like Folden shouldn't be far up the pitch. He should <clears> be a bit further back and involved. Playing him right up the pitch is a little wasteful for me. But, but Pep played yeah. in there. And he's been not all the time, though. No, he Listen, virtually does, but right or left, he's been playing it. <clears throat> I, I, I personally, when I remember seeing him play, you know, I think he's played multiple positions. And I mean, City's different as well because they've got so much talent. It's a little, and they know each other week in, week out. It's a bit harder to judge how you play for England than you would play for your club team, isn't it? Mm. Fair dues. Uh, Troy M says we need to slap 75 mil on the table for Gnabry. But uh, Bayern ain't selling Gnabry. I don't no, see, no, I don't no, see no, Gnabry no. leaving Bayern either, if I'm going to be honest. Um, uh, I hope Sane don't turn into a journeyman, you know. I think there's an attitude issue with Sane there. I think, Maybe. It's, I think it's a mentality thing. Maybe. Something not just clicking for him at the moment, which is a shame because the talent wise, the boy is phenomenal, but something's mm. not clicking there. But yeah, I hope he cuts out of the rut that he's in as well because he's a phenomenal player to watch. 100%. Really, oh, so. Bad boy when he's on his day. <clears throat> Indeed. But people, we are going to wrap up there. Um, make sure you smash the like button. Make sure you leave a comment, especially regarding the rail seating. Um, <laughs> just one more super chat regarding the rail seating. Um, Alfonso Bell says, it's normal seats with a rail, not actual rail seats. Okay, fair enough. Appreciate that. And 975 Jamrock says, in a title challenging year, every minute of um, very game of every game counts and every chance you get matters is magnified. That's the difference between 97 and not 99. Very true. Very true. But again, to get 97 points and not win the league, I think sometimes you just say there was a better team a better team so I, I'm not mad at Klopp for getting my was that, was that question based on John Begin playing for us or just what do I think of him as a player in general the, someone asked me what I think of John McGinn. Oh, I'm John saying, McGinn. Is that his name for us or was it just no, in general yeah I think we've been listening to him so someone's saying like, would you basically would you take him as a genius oh, oh. replacement I think that's kind of what nah, it is John, do you know what, John McGinn, I, know, I don't want to sound disingenuous, but John, you know when you get certain teams and you're a little bit condescending, but you do it accidentally, you don't even mean it. But for them, you know he's a good player, but he wouldn't, you feel like he wouldn't be good enough for you. You know, like, I don't know, like, say we were going through the list of players in a team. As an example, say we're going through the Austrian team and I'm trying to find positives. I would be like, I know of it, you're bad boy, what are you talking about? But then if you went, oh, but would you want him at Liverpool? I'd be like, Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want him at Liverpool. You know, like that kind of thing. We do that in football a lot without... You know, you're not trying to be patronising, but... Yeah, I feel I, like I, Mc, McGinn is one of those players. I think he wouldn't be good enough for Liverpool. But watching him at Villa, I think he's definitely a talented footballer and I like him. Do you know what I mean? Like, he's he's got a bit about him. He's got everything, a little a bit of everything that like he's good. But at Liverpool, no. I don't think he's good enough for Liverpool. Yeah, it is. Well, people, smash the like button if you haven't already. Make sure you leave a comment. Subscribe if you're new to the channel as well. Um, we're going to be back later this week with a big guest, a very big <clears> guest. <throat> We've got a couple big guests coming over in the next couple of weeks as well. It's so, true. Yeah, things are, on, things are on the up, people. So make sure you check us out on social media. Keep up to date. Check out the merch store as well. We've got the limited edition Allison T-shirt oh, on limited. the at the moment. Limited edition. Look Trust me. Oh, black baby. Man say, get your man that can do both of them. Oh, in that crisp white. Ali. Oh, the Heisenberg white. Oh, um, <laughs> so, make sure, <laughs> so make sure you grab yourself one of the T-shirts. And people, thank you very much for watching. Matt, do you have anything you want to say? Um, <laughs> no. Just glad to be back, man. Glad to be back, man. You know what you I'm saying? saying? It went over your head at first, Drift, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You know... <laughs> <laughs> Straight away, I just think I am the one who knocks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm glad to be back, man. No, I miss you lot still. I can't yeah, have a front. Miss man. you lot, man. 
And I there's only one that hat as well. I need to get that hat. Hey, right, trust. There's only one way to sign up as well. Like, there's only one dub play that we got cut because True said we got we got a big guest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big guest coming this week. Big there's only one place to sign off with, isn't it? Man's cutting a dub play right now, you know. You out here talking about a click. The only click you need to know about is the Harlem Heat and Sister Sherry. See, because what you're dealing with here is the brotherhood. It's non-stop from this point on in WCW. We take what we want. And after we take Lex Luger and the Giant, we want the gold sucker Hulk Hogan. YouTube, <laughs> we're coming for you. <laughs> Much love, people. See you guys soon. Hey. Hey.